Guys, welcome po sa Kabayan Investor Canada. Ako po si JR. Ako po si Kaloy. So, ngayon po ay aming panglimang video. So, itong video na to ay didiscuss ni Don paano siya nag-start sa stock trading dito sa Canada. Opo, um, unang una po sa lahat, maraming salamat po for watching our videos. Um, at this time, um, excited po ako to share sa inyo or ibahagi sa inyo yung uh, how, how I started trading Toronto Stock Exchange. And here, I will show you guys how I analyzed the stock. And more importantly, yung mga mistakes po na nagawa ko, yung mga pagkakakadong na nagawa ko. So, you might learn something from it. So guys, watch the whole video para makita nyo po yung mga uh, kung paano ako nagsimula, yung, yung naging strategy ko, and um, how, how I uh, try to stick to my plan or my guide uh, whenever I, I trade uh, sa Toronto Stock Exchange. Mabuhay mga kababayan namin sa Canada. Welcome po sa aming uh, YouTube channel ang Kabayan Investor Canada. Ako po si JR. Ako po si Saloy. At kami po ay nandito upang ibagi sa inyo ang aming konting kaalaman at karanasan pagdating sa pag-invest sa stock market by buying and selling stocks. Okay guys, um, before I start, uh, I just want to make, make it clear that uh, hindi po kami mga professional stock traders. Uh, ito pong pinapresent namin sa inyong mga videos are just our own knowledge, experiences. Um, so, um, especially for this video guys, I will show you how I started trading at Toronto Stock Exchange. So, marami po rito akong papakita mga mistakes. At uh, some strategies na ginamit ko po uh, when I started trading at Toronto Stock Exchange. Hindi po ako katulad ng mga talagang professional na po sa pagdating sa trading that they make thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars sa Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, ako po ay nagsisimula pa lang. And I have only 5 years of experience so I'm still learning. I'm still gaining more experience. So kung uh, interesado po talaga kayo, please... Um, um, Watch the whole video para makita nyo po kung ano yung mga pagkakamaling na gawa ko and you might learn something from it. Simula na po tayo. Uh, disclaimer po before we start. So, paano po ako nagsimula? I try to explore first yung website ng Toronto Stock Exchange. Ito po yung www.tmxmoney.com and uh, their website actually contain a lot of information about uh, about Toronto about about stock exchange or about uh, companies listed in the Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, first and foremost, uh, of course, we need to learn. We need to know what time do they start trading, and that's 9:30 in the morning up to 4 p.m. Uh, every uh, on a weekdays only, and this is Eastern time, mga kababayan. So if you live in Vancouver or in Alberta or in other parts of uh, Canada outside of Ontario, then the the, the time might change uh, when you do when you are doing your trading. And of course, during legal holidays, uh, they there's no trading uh, at Toronto Stock Exchange. So sa website po nila, tmxmoney.com, you'll see uh, a lot of information about. Um, trending stocks during that day um, you can also enter on the get code company symbol or the symbol of the company stock that you want to buy and the recent news that's happening uh, on that day in the business world so even before I started trading I, I, I made sure that um, I follow some of the tips I saw uh, and read in the internet and one of them is to come up with a trading guide or trading plan and I, I've decided that uh, before I decided trading or before I started trading I will only buy stocks that I know that has history of consistent profitability 
and also I will only buy a stock if the price is or at near the support level and then sell it at a price at or near the resistance level and I also try to come up with an excel spreadsheet where I can monitor or keep track of all my trades and the trading piece um, um, associated with, with it. So, mga kababayan, ito po yun. Ito po yung Excel spreadsheet na ginawa ko uh, to monitor or keep track of all my trades. Makikita nyo po rito. Uh, this is for my RRSP. Um, iba pa po yung spreadsheet ko for my TFSA. And you would see here, I started November of 2016. And ang balance po ng RRSP ko, and I'm trying to be as transparent as I can, is less than uh, $9,000 po. Yan po yung mga naipon ko, na ininvest ko sa RSP para din po magkaroon ng tax refund uh, simula po nung uh, nagmuba ko dito sa Canada. Yung una-una ko pong biniling stock is Dalarama with a stock, stock symbol DOL or DAL. Uh, bought it November 21, 2016. And then, doon na po nagsimula ang, ang buy and sell ko or trading ko Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, in my first trading transaction, I only made $17. Sumunod po, bumili ako ng Royal Bank. I made $100. And I'm only doing this uh, when I have time because I also work full time. So when only only when I have time uh, or break during my work, uh, I try to check the stock market on my apps or on my phone or on, on the computer and see what's going on. So, kung makikita nyo po rito, uh, November, December, January, February, uh, my, my profits from the past four months it's not that big. Actually, it's too small uh, to offset yung mga trading fees na binabayaran ko. Um, and one of the reasons po, because I'm buying uh, stocks that are quite expensive uh, relative to my starting capital. Kasi maliit lang po yung capital ko, di ba? Uh, so, uh, I need to change uh, some of my strategy pagdating po sa trading. Um, so, I was fortunate enough because yung company ko po, I have a company RSP, a uh, group plan. So, meron po ako dong konting money uh, that I decided to transfer to my direct investing account because I need to increase my fund so I can scale up in my uh, investing. So, I transferred uh, all of them, all of my company RSP to my direct investing account. I also decided to still keep buying stock that are solid and stable but that are priced at around $40 or lower and I also tried to maintain a safety net uh, before I uh, buy a stock uh, and this is by trading in range or buying in range ang, ang term na ginagamit po nila rito is cost averaging and I also tried to focus only in one to two stocks uh, that generate an uptrend. As you all know, TSX, there's um, lots of companies, hundreds of companies listed in TSX. So, you really have to decide which one you want to follow para po um, makapag-focus kayo sa stock na yun. So, as I continue doing my trading from February to August, um, makikita nyo po dan, I started transferring um, some funds um, to increase my uh, uh, capital and then I also began buying cheaper stocks like Manulife Financials uh, and Stantec, um, Suncor and then as, as a beginner, you, you start to commit mistakes and sometimes po, I, I buy a stock uh, at a higher price. So what I do, uh, I try to uh, have a safety net. I don't use all my capital. 
uh, usually I just use a portion of it and then if it goes down uh, the following day or days I can buy that again to um, to bring the my total um, um, the total price of my stock lower um, kung makikita nyo po rito like the Stantec I bought it 33.82 on May 8 and then it dropped down nung May 10 to 33.59 so instead of selling the stock I decided to buy it again to to bring the my losses uh, lower and while I'm doing all this trading, uh, magugulat na lang po ako. I have dividend uh, from a particular company that I bought. In this case, uh, Stantec. Um, I received like $98 because I owed their stock uh, uh, in April. Um, so, yun din po ang kagandahan talaga ng pag invest sa stock market, yung dividend. Which, i-explain ko din po sa inyo sa mga susunod namin video. So, this is the most important thing when you're trading stock market. Discipline. Discipline, discipline. Yung disiplina po natin. You really have to 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 discipline yourself when to sell, when to buy and and um, be patient um, about uh, about um, about the stocks that you are following. And of course, one of them is try not to be too greedy. Um, ako po, isa po yung sa naging guide ko. Uh, I, I should be contented with at least 5% return or less uh, whenever I do my, my trading. Um, and also, I tried not to, get, not to be carried away or not to get carried away by my emotion. Especially po, yung pagiging excited when, uh, when you see your stock going up. Uh, yung uh, desire po to sell it right away to to get the get the profit is always there um, lalo na po if the price of the stock goes up significantly on the other hand kapag bigla pong nag drop yung stock i tried not to panic because that's when you make huge losses sa sa Toronto stock exchange or sa stock uh, trading when you start to panic uh, about about your uh, about the stock that you bought that suddenly uh, plummeted and as I've said from the beginning I have to try following my trading guide which is really hard to to say or which is really hard to do easier said than done again as I uh, as I've said from the beginning uh, I try to follow my trading guide. Um, that's why discipline is very important po, uh, when you're doing trading uh, in stock market. Ito na po yung the rest of my trading in, the, in 2017 from August to December. And you would see here na unti-unti pong nag-increase na yung profit gain ko uh, because of the changes I made in my uh, strategy and you would see that uh, throughout the whole year of 2017 uh, my profits have improved uh, I have an accumulated uh, profit gain of 5,387 and I paid 527 trading fees di, di po kalakihan di po po um, unlike yung mga professional stock tra traders that they really make hundreds of thousand ako po because I'm just beginning uh, I'm just um, starting and malit lang po yung capital ko so um, ito lang po yung um, gains na, na uh, I made but relative to my starting capital that's already equivalent to uh, at least 20% po so ikukumpara nyo yun sa banko na binibigay sa atin is what 3 to 5% lang Ma maximum is 8 mas malaki po po talaga ang potential na kumita ka ng malaki uh, in trading stock market. So, gusto ko lang din po i-highlight yung mga yung, there's two particular trades I did in, uh, at the uh, last quarter of 2017 um, that I, I want to um, show you um, especially uh, 
how how why did I buy that stock and uh, and why did I sell it at this price? Um, pero uh, una po itong Encana ECA I bought it November 7, 2017 at 1640 uh, and then I bought it again uh, on that same day at 1616 uh, because kung po iba naming video yung price ng isang stock it changes every minute every second uh, in the duration of a day so um, ganun po ka, ka um, unpredictable ang isang stock na when you're doing your trading so so guys the reason why i buy in in range is to minimize loss to reduce my losses because when you buy a stock you, no one really knows if it's gonna go up or down after you bought it um that's why um marami din po mga traders uh, lo lose a lot of money sa stock market because it's really unpredictable but if you follow some of the trends, some of the technical analysis uh, na ginagamit ng mga analysts, uh, it will help you make an educated guess when you buy a stock. So, ito po, yung Encana na binili ko, uh, I bought it twice at two different price on that same day. Uh, and actually, uh, on that day, ang closing price niya po ay 1631. Ito po yun. So, you will see as the day goes by, bumaba po nang bumaba yung presyo ng stock. Uh, it even reached as low as um, $15. And ito po yung isa kong pagkakamali. Um, I bought the price near at its resistance price. Uh, which go against my trading guide, di ba ba? But, based on my analysis, I saw an uptrend on the price. So I I hold my I, I, I kept holding the stock for a couple of days, um, but again you'll see here the stock fell to as low as 14.27. So dito po talagang medyo nagpapanik na ako because my loss is getting bigger. So I've decided to set a limit sell price to real to, con to contain my losses para hindi na po lumaki na lumaki yung losses ko. Um, but but because I believe that this stock will still go up based on the trend, an uptrend, uh, which is this one, uh, na if I will project that, it could still reach 1750. I still hold, I still uh, kept holding the stock. And yun po, my patience did pay off. The stock price did went up. Uh, and in December 29, of 2017, I decided to sell the stock at 1683 after holding it for eight weeks. So I I made a profit of 969. So ganyan po ang stock market, guys. Um, you have to be really patient. And in this case, I I waited for eight weeks uh, to make some profits from stock market um, because based on the trend that it generated, um, it it still went up. Um, but again, um, even though I made profit, I, I still made a mistake, guys, because I sold it too early. Because if I will stick with the trend, the stock could still reach up to 1750, di po ba? And indeed, it reached around 1780. Um, but I sold it too early. Um, I should have waited uh, for the stock to reach. Uh, at that resistance level uh, so I should have made more money di po ba? so yun yung isa sa mga pagkakamali ko um, I should have waited more um, uh, for the stock to reach the resistance level before I sold the stock another one po um, this is a Cenobus Energy or CVE um, and then um, I bought it um, back in uh, September guys and uh, first at 12.75 uh, I bought it in September 25 and then it went down to 12.46 and I bought it again uh, after two days but again you will see here um, I bought the price at, a, at its resistance level because I got carried away by my by the pricing price uh, masyado ako na excited because the price of the stock keep rising, I decided to buy. But 
which is go against my guide which is only buy the stock when it, it is at its support level nonetheless um i i saw an uptrend on this stock you, as you could see here um that this stock could still go high up to this resistance level but makikita nyo po as the day goes by bumaba na naman yung presyo ng stock uh, for a couple of days and it settled there for uh, more than a week or two or even months but I tried not to panic uh, especially in this kind of situation when the price drops um, I kept the stock because uh, based on the trend it's going up um, as I project the line there but the stock dropped as low as 11.90 on, on October 12 so I just kept holding onto it um, kasi po sa stock market you will only lose money if you sell your stock pero kung if you will keep holding into it uh, knowing or hoping that it will still go up in the coming weeks or months then you will not have a loss so ganito po yung ginawa ko dito I just kept holding into it hoping na it will go up for the next coming days and again my patience paid off it did went up on November 2nd it went up at 13.36 and I sold them at 13.23 on that day so I made a profit of around 1400 on that day because again I followed my analysis that this has an uptrend that if I'll be patient to wait for that uh, ups, uptrend then I'll make a profit however guys again another mistake I got carried away, I sold it too early. I should have waited for the price to reach at its resistance level, uh, which is around um, around here, which is 15 or 14.75. But I sold it too early. I should have been, I should have made more money if I waited for the price to reach the resistance level. But because I trusted my analysis, I still made money um, after a couple of weeks. So you can see here this is the resistance level is 1450 and um, so because I know it's still gonna go up I bought it again the following day and sold it at the same day and still made 210 because of that uptrend that uh, uh, it is showing it closed at 1448 on November 8 so again actually I, I sold it too early again because I want to make profit right away I sold it too early if I waited until November 8, I should have uh, made more uh, profit. So, dito po lang tatapos ang ating uh, ikalimang video. Sana po may natutunan kayo. And ito pong mga mistake na nagawa ko while I'm trading, ay sana po ay makatulong sa inyo kung gusto nyo talagang mag-invest sa stock market. Because you will not always win in, 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 in stock market. Um, you will lose money. But if you know how to manage your losses, contain your losses, uh, at, at the end, you will still win. So, maraming salamat po mga kababayan for supporting our videos. Uh, please watch, keep watching them and subscribe at our YouTube channel, Kabayan Investor Canada. And you can email us or contact us at kabayaninvestor at gmail.com or follow us at Facebook page, Kabayan Investor Canada. Ako po ulit si JR and next videos po, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga trading ko naman in 2018. And ito po, dito nas medyo naging risky ako, I took more risk and makikita nyo po kung ano po yung magiging resulta of taking uh, too much risk sa pag-invest sa stock market. Maraming salamat po muli and mabuhay kayo.